Hi guys, how we doing? My name is Gregory Doyle and I write for Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat, one of the fastest growing sites in the UK. Um, just a quick video prediction about a fight that I'm very lucky to be attending tomorrow night at the Radisson Blue in Glasgow. It's the British Bantamweight title fight between Cash Farouk and Kyle Williams. Somebody's always got to go. Um, Kyle Williams is a 10 wins, 3 stoppages. Cash Farouk is 11 wins, 4 stoppages. Um, really exciting fight. Looking forward to it. Watched a lot of Kyle Williams over the last 24 hours. Um, impressive fighter. Um, he does what he needs to do. Um, caught up a lot of his fight with um, Thomas Esomba, I think that's how it's pronounced, who lost by 12 round stoppage to Lee McGregor. Times I thought Kyle made hard work of it for himself, but in the end it was a really good win for the English title, which has probably propelled him to where he is now. And fighting for the British title against Cash. Um, Cash, as you know, I'm a Scottish guy myself. Um, I've seen a lot of Cash. Cash is a very, very impressive fighter. Um, keys to victory for me um, in this fight, we'll go into in a moment or two. Cash, um, his journey's been fantastic so far. Um, he's a guy that has risen to the occasion every time I was at his last fight um, his win over Ian Butcher where at times even though from being the amateurs myself Ian Butcher phenomenal fighter phenomenal amateur um, with really really high world ranking in the amateurs um, Cash dealt with him really well um, I think that the keys to victory as I say is something that we're going to cover off very briefly in the video and the prediction on how I believe that the fight will go what I would say though is that I think it's a really, really great fight. Um, first of all, I believe that it's going to be quite high intense and I believe also that it's not going the distance. Um, so, which leads me to my keys to victory um, and how I believe the fight will go. So, we'll start off with Kyle. Uh, so for Kyle, I believe that Kyle, from watching him, he seems very, very awkward, which is a good thing in a fighter. Um, he does walk back in straight lines, but it's effective straight lines. It's when he throws the jab, he slides his foot back, which is really, really good from time to time. Um, it can keep your opponent off balance. Um, he's also very good at working on the inside, which I noticed. Um, so those are, I believe, if he's going to get a victory tomorrow night, Kyle, I believe that he needs to show those attributes. For Cash, I believe it's going to be speed combinations and footwork. Um, Cash is a very, very good body puncher um, and his timing is phenomenal. Some of the shots that Butcher took, um, hats off to him because it was very, <laughs> very, very tasty shots that were going in. Um, I believe that Cash will stop Kyle late in the fight tomorrow night or we could be looking at a wide points decision. Um, I just believe... Cash just looks like he's he's one of these kids that are really, really going places. And that's not to say that um, Kyle's not. It's just I have, from seeing both of them, Cash really stands out for me. Um, and I believe that he'll start the fight cautious, um, try and make Kyle overreach and counter. Um, but in the end, I believe that Cash will get him out of there quite late on or it will be a, uh, sorry, a wide unanimous points decision. Um, if you want to see more things from me or more things from the people I write for, as I say, it's Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat. Um, we're a fantastic team, growing all the time. Um, some amazing content coming out from us, some really, really useful guys and girls that write for us. Um, so yeah, tune in, tune in to Eat, Sleep, Box and Repeat for, for some more. But tomorrow, prediction, um, cash for a late stoppage or wide points. Thanks.